morning. We just finished our morning's breakfast here and the selection of foods is somewhat small but the food was delicious and uh, the aesthetic preparations were very beautiful. The way everything was arranged is really really nice and the staff here is nice and the environment is pristine and really beautiful. So it was a relaxing morning and we're ready for a day of adventuring. Hey guys, we're here to talk to you about our second room at Ban Suchata Resort and Spa in Saraburi. Yeah, we got the pool villa. have our own private pool. We have two pools actually. We are at the pool villa and we enjoy our own pool. This is super nice. And a hot tub. Yay! and a gigantic shower. Yes. This room is really beautiful. This was a very expensive room uh, for us. Uh, it cost 7600 a night, which is about $250. This is much more than what we would normally spend basically anywhere in Thailand. And it is beautiful. It's really big. It's a nice villa. Uh, the pool is large and immaculately maintained. The guy has been cleaning it like literally around the clock since we got here. Yeah and we had a nice jacuzzi tub um, behind the villa. The bed was very comfortable and it has a very spa-like bathroom. Yes. We are jacuzzi <laughs> Hello, we are in our hot tub. Yay! Please enjoy the hot tub. That's a bubble. Uh, the decor is really stunning, very uh, traditional Thai style. They have upholstered walls and nice wood furniture, everything like carved and beautiful. Uh, the pool is big, there's actually two pools and there's a jacuzzi tub behind the villa. It's set up sort of like long and narrow, the whole property here. Yes. And we have a nice green mountain view in front of us. Yes, beautiful. The view is just so stunning. Yeah, just like uh, everything else we've said already about the resort, uh, all the fixtures in here are, are high end. Uh, someone spent a lot of money building this place, decorating it. I mean, they didn't uh, 
spare any expense for sure. Uh, and I think that's what you're paying for when you come here. Um, once again, I had the good um, Wi-Fi network and had everything set up through the TV that you can cast your devices onto it and I don't know, all that technology. <laughs> yeah, they, they have the um, internet TV. They have nice uh, spa products in the bathroom, expensive yes. imported spa products, which were nice. Um, let's talk about the things we really liked and the things we didn't like so much about the room. They should have more chairs by the bed. For watching TV? Yeah. Yeah, the TV's upstairs. It sort of slides up on a, a motorized lift from yes. the console in front of the bed, but you really sort of have to sit in bed to yeah. watch TV because right. there's no chairs. The sofa and the chairs are all down here and there's no TV. So, right. yeah, I would say they could probably provide a chair up there. Uh, the things I really liked are the pool was nice. Uh, I thought the bed was great yeah. and very comfortable again. Uh, the thing I liked the least um, was the bathroom. Uh, although it was beautiful, the shower was incredibly awkward. Once again, you had a hand shower that was like at my belly button height and I couldn't, there's nowhere to put it up. Uh, there was not enough water pressure at all and they have a gigantic rain shower which when you put that on with the lack of water pressure, it just really feels like cold dripping water on your head. Uh, it was useless to shower. So in between the very low hand shower and the useless rain shower, taking a shower here was incredibly difficult. Uh, otherwise, I think the room was nice. It was very comfy. Let's uh, discuss the overall experience with the resort. Okay. The place, really stunning. The view is beautiful. They have a lot of space. You can spend all day here walking around, bike riding, have activities within the resort. So Jamie got the kid's bike and it's not electric, so she got to walk it up the steep hill. Should be much easier from here. There's your horse. There's like little stations to stop at. They have uh, wildlife in the farm side, so you have like a little enclosure of of pigs and goats and they have some horses and uh, they're building a ton of water features and stuff yes. over there. God only knows what's going to be in there. <laughs> uh, and over on the resort side they have a fish pond and they have like a little rice field set up and you know, stuff where you can shoot pictures and just chill out and just enjoy. Uh, that's nice. In order to explore those, you can walk or you can take their electric bikes or their regular bikes. So those are all good eco-friendly options. They also use battery-powered uh, go-karts.
It's just like a motorcycle. <laughs> Very small motorcycle. <laughs> I guess you would say golf carts. Golf carts? Yeah, to bring you around and pick up your luggage and stuff, so that's nice. You know, it's, a, it's definitely a, an eco-friendly vibe here. They care about the environment. There's various signs uh, saying how you could help out in, you know, reducing waste and reducing uh, resource uses. Uh, as far as the uh, overall experience with the staff, I think everyone here was extremely friendly. Yes. They're all Agreed. very trying to be very accommodating. Uh, as we discussed uh, in other video, um, the food service staff is a little awkward, herky-jerky, not really well trained. That could use an improvement since we ordered room service our second night here. Yeah. And when Jam called, it was like, oh, it's going to be really, really long. Like, like they were basically discouraging us from ordering room service. and. When Jim got off the phone, I said, you call them back. We just want a simple fried rice. Like, this should take you five minutes. And it, we got a completely different attitude. And the food showed up about a half hour later, and it was fine. So it, it almost seems like between the having to order hours in advance and telling them every little detail, and then uh, they're, they're literally trying to discourage you from eating here. Then we have fried rice. We have like patsil. Other, I guess, uh, criticism would be they could use more diversity at breakfast like we stayed three days in a row and three days in a row my breakfast was identical Jem's breakfast was like 99 percent identical and they could vary it a little bit especially since they're not providing a whole lot of stuff out there you know they could put muffins out one day instead of croissants they could put out you know something a little, just change it up a little bit but every day it was just like the same thing pretty much except for one or two of the entrees they like eastern style breakfast yeah, it's not a lot of options for vegetarian. I've literally eaten the same thing three days in a row. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's been zero variation, but it's, it's fine. You know, it's okay. I'd say they could do a better job with the entire food service. But otherwise, I think it was a, a good overall experience. Relaxing and nice. Um, I would definitely recommend this place. It's, you know, it, it, as, as accommodations go here in sort of going up towards the center of Thailand now, uh, this place is pretty stellar. Yeah, I agree.